What if I told you your SharePoint list could generate and send PDFs automatically? Let me just create a list item and watch. The PDF gets generated instantly. See the magic yourself. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I will show you an interesting demo. First, I'll show you how to create a dynamic Microsoft Word file with SharePoint list data, then convert that Word file to a PDF file. Here I have taken a use case like, when an interview candidate gets selected in a company, HR will roll out an offer letter to the selected candidate. So how can this process be automated? In this demo, I'll show you the end-to-end -end process of how I've developed this solution. So let's get started. I need to set up a couple of things in SharePoint. I need to set up my SharePoint list. This is my employee offer letters list with a couple of columns. This is a title column which stores the offer letter ID that gets generated automatically. And this is my employee name column. And then we got the email column. These two are single line text type columns. Then we got job title and department columns. These two are choice columns. The joining date is a date type column. Salary is currency type column. Then we got the acceptance deadline date type column and status choice column. So this is my employee offer letters list set up in SharePoint, which I already did. So how does it work? When an HR team selects a candidate, they enter offer details for that selected candidate. Then once they submit the details with the status is sent, the flow behind this will create an offer letter PDF file out of these data and send an email to the candidate automatically with the attached offer letter file. Then I have SharePoint document library, which stores all offer letters files. And here you can see that inside this library, I have created an offer letter templates folder. This is my template file, which I have created and based on this template file, all the offer letters, will be generated automatically. And you could see that these are the offer letters that already got generated automatically. Let's look at this template file, which is here. This is just a simple template file I have created. So this could be your company's logo, and this will be your company's address. And this is the format of an offer letter. And this many of the data are dynamic like date. This is the current date, and this is the employee name whom you're sending this offer letter and this candidate. Email ID, and this is the subject like offer of employment for the position of software engineer. These all are dynamic. Then this is the format of the offer letter, and there are many dynamic columns as you can see here. So those will be filled up automatically before I Get into this. I'll show you how I created this template. So I'm taking you there. This is my local template file I have created. So the one I uploaded and showed is the same copy, but I'll show you how I had designed it here. In the beginning, this developer tab will not be there. You need to enable that. How you can enable that? You need to right click on the ribbon menu anywhere and then click on customize the ribbon. Then you come here and select the developer checkbox. Select that and click on OK. Then you'll get this developer tab and then you can create a custom template, which I created here. Here you can add dynamic controls like plain text, rich text, checkboxes, combo boxes, drop down lists, and more. Then go to the properties of each control and update the title and tag value shown as an example here. You can see on the screen how I am updating the title and tag value for a plain text control. That's it. So likewise, I have added employee name, joining date, department, job role, and more controls here. All the control types I have added here are as plain text. You can map these controls with SharePoint list columns. I'll show you how we can do. You can see various types of controls are available here for your Word template file. This is how I have developed this template. Let me close this now. 
I don't need this as already I have uploaded this to my SharePoint templates folder. So this is my offer letter templates folder. Now let's watch the demo. For instance, I will add a new employee in my employee offer letters list. I'll keep the title empty because the title column is nothing but the offer letter ID that will be generated and updated automatically, which is unique. So I will not add here. I'll just add a sample employee name. I'll just add something like John Smith as an employee name, then email ID. Here I've added my email ID. Actually, this should be the candidate email ID. Then the job title, I can select like consultant. Then I can select department as IT. Then the joining date as a future date somewhere in October. The acceptance deadline date is selected as the nearest date. Something like September 15th. For the salary I have selected. As 200 thousandths. Then I set the status as sent. There is a power automate flow behind this. This flow gets triggered only when the status is set as sent and the title column is empty. Otherwise, this flow will not get triggered. The flow creates an offer letter PDF file using these data and sends an offer letter email to the candidate. Right? So I will just submit it, save it. Now my flow will get triggered. Let's go to my flow run history and see whether it succeeded or not. I'll go here. I'll just refresh this list. My flow is still running. Okay. And I'll just go to my employee offer letters list to see offer letter ID got updated or not. Yes. I can see that the new offer letter ID just got updated. And this is what I submitted. Now I'll go to my offer letters document library and see that whether the new PDF offer letter got created there. Yes, I can see. This is the offer letter and it just got generated a minute ago. Let's open this PDF. See. This is nothing but the word template that I have created. You can see all the dynamic values that I have passed to the SharePoint list. And this is the current date. And this is the candidate name and candidate email. In the subject, I have passed dynamic job role. Then we got the candidate name, job role, department, joining date, and salary details. So all these values got updated automatically right. Now I'll show you how this offer letter is being created. And let me close this one and I'll show you how the candidate will get the email. This is how the candidate will get the email. This is also dynamic email. I have created an email template where I've passed all dynamic values. We can see department, job title, joining date end, acceptance deadline date, all are dynamic here. This is the offer letter attachment PDF file. Let's open it and see how it looks. So this is the PDF attachment file. So it's exactly how the HR team handles a hiring process in a company. This is the complete workflow, right? Now I'll take you to the flow of how I have developed it. So let me open this flow, which just got executed now. All actions in my flow ran successfully. If you're enjoying this demo, don't forget to like and subscribe. It means a lot and helps me keep sharing more with you. This is my flow. I'll explain each step one by one right. So let me open this in edit mode. Yes, this is my trigger when an item is created or modified in the employee offer letters list, and this should get triggered only when the status column is set to sent and the title column is empty. So I have set a condition here. If the status is set to sent, and the title column is empty, then trigger this flow. Adding the title column with an empty value in this condition is very crucial. 
Otherwise, after setting the status column value as sent for the first time, all subsequent updates to that list item will trigger this flow. Not only that, but if you have an update action in your flow, this will go into infinite execution. So adding this conditional trigger is very important. At the end of this flow, I'm updating the title column with the offer letter ID. This will make this trigger condition false, so it won't trigger. So this is what I have set here for the trigger condition. Then, this is my site URL. This is my employee offer letters list name. Then what I'm doing is I'm reading. The current item, which I submitted in my employee offer letters list. So for that, I have added this get item action here. This is the site address again. This is the item ID from the previous trigger action step. Using this, I get the offer details I just created. Then I have added here populate Microsoft Word template action. This is a premium action. You will get it from the Word Online Business Connector section, where for the location I have passed my SharePoint site. You can select the site listed here. This is my document library I have passed here. I'm passing my template file here. You can see this is my template file. Once I have selected my template file, all the template controls that have been added to my template file will be automatically populated. See here, joining date, current date, employee name, salary, job title, department, employee email, employee name. Whatever I added in my Word template file, all populated here. Then I'm passing the values from this get item from offer letters list. For example, for the joining date, I have picked the value from here. I've selected it from the get item action output. Likewise, I have passed all the values from here. This is pretty straightforward, and for the current date, I have passed the current date. You can see how I have passed the current date, just formatted to the expected format, year, month, and date. Then what I'm doing is I'm creating a Word file in my document library. So basically behind the scene, before converting or creating a PDF file, I am creating an offer letter file in Microsoft Word. It is in the middle layer for a temporary purpose. This will be deleted later automatically. Then I've added a create file action. This will create offer letter word file. Here I've passed my site URL and for the folder path, I've passed my document library. Then for the file name, you can see how I'm passing it. Here I've used the string concat function to create a file name with the employee name and offer letter text followed by the current date. Due to that concat function, this is how the file gets created in the document library. Then for the file content, I've selected the body of the populate, a Microsoft Word template action. Here I've just selected the body of this. Populate a Microsoft Word template action. You'll get from here. So my Word file will get created using this action behind the scenes. Now I'm converting this same Word file to a PDF file for the offer letter using this convert Word document to PDF action. Here for the location, I'm passing my SharePoint site. And for the document library, I'm passing my document library. And for the file, I'm passing the name attribute from the create offer letter word file output. You can see how I've passed the name attribute here. This is how my word file is getting converted to PDF. So now I got my PDF file generated here. Then what I am doing is I am uploading that PDF file to my library in the same location. So again, I am using this create file action to create a PDF file in my document library, and this is my site address. This is my folder path. That is nothing but my root level document library, and then constructing the file name the same way as the previous one, only adding the PDF extension here. Again, here I am using the concat function. You can see how I've constructed here. Due to that concat function, my PDF file name was created this way. Employee name, offer letter text, followed by the current date. Now, 
For this file content, I'm passing the body of the convert word document to PDF action. How you can pass this? You get it from the output of the convert word document to PDF action. I'm just selecting this PDF document here. So this is how my PDF file got generated. Next thing is I'm sending this offer letter PDF file to the candidate. For this, I'm using the send an email V2 action where I've passed the employee email. Job title, department. Joining date and acceptance deadline date dynamically from the get item from offer letters list action output. In the subject, I've configured your employment offer with global SharePoint for this role. You can pass all dynamic values from this get item from offer letters list action output. Then I have created an email template and passed all the relevant dynamic values wherever they fit. So basically what I'm doing here is showing how I built a job offer email template in Power Automate. The subject is clear. The body greets the candidate, mentions the role, and points to the attached PDF offer letter. It ends with a simple closing from HR, saving time and keeping the message professional every time. This way, every time an offer is sent, HR doesn't have to type. Everything from scratch, the system generates it automatically. This is how I got this email. Now, next thing is, I need to set this. Title column value with the offer letter ID. I need to update this. How I'm doing that is I'm checking the title column value to see whether it is empty. And if it is empty, then only go for the update. I've already added this update item action. This is the site URL and list name. Then pass the item ID from the get item from offer letter list action output. For the title column, basically what I am doing here is generating a unique offer letter ID by combining today's date with the item ID, like offer letter underscore 2025097 underscore 0001. This is how I'm generating the offer letter ID. You can see how the title column updated with the offer letter. After completing this cycle, at the end, I am deleting the offer letter, which was created in Word file format. Here, for each PDF offer letter, there will be an offer letter in Word file format. Behind the scenes, this process will happen. So I'm just deleting the Word file at the end because I want to retain only the PDF file. Configuring the delete file action is very simple. You just need to pass the site URL and ID column from the create offer letter word file action output. That's all from this demo. Using this, you can completely automate your company's offer letter rollout process. I hope you enjoyed and liked this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel. For more valuable content, it really motivates me a lot. I create videos on Microsoft Copilot, Power Platform, Power Automate, SharePoint, and more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.